Hello you sexy people, welcome back to Foundation and it is that time of the year again. It is, well, coming close to autumn I think. Um, it's getting a bit more foggy now, temperatures are dropping and we are coming close to winter. Oh my goodness, I hate winter in this game. I love winter usually, not in this game so much because of that midwinter fast. That we're going to see or feast or whatever, um, where no one really wants to work and it's crushing my economy completely. Well, it's not yet winter, it's not yet the fast, and we do have a bit of time for more productions and constructions. There's only one construction missing right now up here, that's the keep. Um, we already got lots of builders assigned to it and they're continuing with that. It's a really big construction ongoing and it's still going to take us quite some time there to train these, um, well, to, to increase the size of that. Now, what we want to do in the meantime is the church. I don't have a church yet. I really need a church. We only have the rustic church. Now we're building a proper church. That is the big faith building that we have. And this should hopefully then boost us with the clergy to 50 points. And that will open up the monastery that I would like to have as well. And also, very important in this area, it's going to raise the desirability of the whole area here by a lot. And this is also one of my goals, right? So we are having all of this here residential zone around the medieval fair then as well. And right in the in the center of it, I'm going to boost my, I'm going to build my church. So right here somewhere, a big proper building. There you go. There's the core building for that now. Right, so that is something that we want to have. Can I increase the size of it? Yes, we can go ahead and increase it. And then we can already have some extensions to it. The core building already cost me 46 polished stone. That is quite a lot. Right, so it depends on how we want to continue than that. I could combine two together here and since this is a proper church i'm going to uh, have two then we need a door a small door and also we could have these towers here then right next to it right so some proper tower looking on that side or the big tower i guess i'm a fan of the big tower that's already really expensive it's going to add already 17 points to what we need right and we could then continue with some stained glass that needs glass though that we don't have. A gargoyle is more realistic. Oh yes, I do like to have a gargoyle up here. And we have of course the cross on top of the big tower stem. Let's only afford one tower for now because we really can't do much more. Is there any bigger door possible? Hmm, no idea. Doesn't seem to be likely a bird. Not something that we can do here right now. Only one, though. That's a lot of polished stone. It's going to take us a while, this one. Lots of tools and planks also being consumed in the process. But it's going to be a majestic-looking church that we're going to have. Another landmark, really, that, you know, goes up there in my village that anywhere, everyone can see, basically. And, of course, a big boost into attractiveness as well. Um, decorations around the church we're going to build as the church is forming, because only then I can really know how to place things over there. Four unemployed people right now. Let's just have a look. Um, farmers once more. Very strange indeed. This farm is always losing people. Assigned a three to that, even though it has plenty of space, but I don't think it has a high fertility in its area, right? But there's already more trees being chopped down. So that should do the trick, hopefully. Now about the polished stone, we have the stone mason working. We probably will need a second one. Let's assign a fourth miner. One more unemployed. Can I assign this one here? I don't want to build anything here. What are you doing? There it is. Oh, there's already two miners. We have so many miners already. It should be enough stone, really. All right. And people already deliver resources to that. Look at that. It's piling up quickly. Perfect. Ah, meanwhile, construction at the Lord Manor has completely finished now. Um, once again, we can assign more to the, the treasury, right? So this one and this one. And that's a lot of capacity each, 150 each. So we are at 2,700 on the treasury. Perfect, really. Lord Manor is coming along nicely. It's really just this one here now. There's the next one assigned. Perfect. 18 splendor points. And extension and here we have now new ones so the prison we can have or the dorms this one houses up to six soldiers let's do this because i don't think we have that yet i think we have one but that's the core building and we do need the dorms there for my soldiers right they can live in that 
Now look at that. Someone probably is already um, building a house over there. Is that right? Yes, so far outside. Either he doesn't like people or he already anticipates the building of the church and he knows that this is going to be a boomer district. Getting him some ground, some real estate already working on. Very smart of you here. I mean, this is really far outside. There's also desirability's average here. Oh, desirability is already going up, even though the church is still under construction. Look at that. It's high in this area already. Right? So even though it's not really there yet, it already increases the surrounding area, leading to more and more houses being built here. So residential space is now high. Perfect. Average happiness is 80%, 79, 80%, something like that. That is good. Cheese still down. Now for the cheese, I would like to continue. We need cheese, really. Um, let's build us two more dairy farms and no longer on the hill that we have up there, right? Because it's pretty full and overloaded already. Um, let's go ahead and have a dairy farm here beside the... Nah, let's not do this. Let's have it over here, actually. That we can afford two of them. So right here at the edge of my village, let's have two of them and also one more cheese maker that is also going to work here at the edge. So we can have the cheese maker then here. Or here, actually, let's have it here, close to the smelter then right away. It can then move here and also here. That we produce a bit more cheese because we need it. We also don't have enough milk. So that's another ongoing construction now. My builders are really busy. Speaking about builders, I think we have all of them assigned now. There's the, No, there's still two more builders we can add. Perfect. Another thing, because we're getting so many new people in, I would like to build the next iron mine that we can have. So here, another quarry now. Quarry construction for now. This is mostly planks, and we have plenty of that. Um, and then, of course, also a crane for the storage once more. So right here. There we can squeeze it in nicely. Perfect. Another one also leading to more workplaces that we have. Very important. No access to services. All my churches are full. Really, all my churches are completely full. This one here, we can still expand a bit to increase the church's capacity. So having them here, I guess. One here, one here, and then this tiny ex yeah, expansion on that side and on that side. That's basically just more planks and planks we always have enough. Let's expand the church there as well. Another villager joins. And this one is coming along, but this is going to take really a long time, right? As we can see here, there's two builders working simultaneously on it right now, and it's still barely making progress. It's just going to take forever, but it's also going to be huge for all my people then. Now, I wanted to check something. My soldiers are wounded, right? They have been wounded in the latest fighting, I think. So we do need something like herbs, I guess, to heal them. Let's just see, is anyone selling herbs? I think I've seen it somewhere. There it is. Herbs. Yes, we can actually get herbs in. Just need to check it now. Where do we have it? There it is. Buy until we reach, let's say, 20. Right. And herbs probably need to be here in the granary. There it is. Perfect. So that we can assign it. And by the way, this granary, let's get a second transporter for it. That should do it. Right. So that we have also something to heal my soldiers so we can send them on more missions again. And there it is also, winter is upon us, berries, milk, wheat, wool, hops, it's all decreased by 75%, that's insane. Yields of wood and boar is increased, but holy cow, we don't need that, and comfort satisfactions last 25% shorter, which is also pretty bad. So winter, once again, we are going into that. With not the best um, premises is there right now. We do have high happiness. That's a good thing. It will definitely drop in winter. I think around to 70, if not 60 perhaps. But still, we are going to be fine on happiness-wise. Um, berries and fish is definitely out pretty soon now as it's already low. For cheese, I still hope that two additional dairy farms are going to work in our favor. Um, and the rest is looking okay. Spear is also stable for now. So we can keep it like that. Two more villages. We have six unemployed. So we're going to need them pretty soon now. The dairy farms are finished. And by the way, I've also finished a second gathering hut. Let's assign three forages to that. We have the berry bushes over there. So they can all work on that. That's a bit of increasing for the berries. And there's also the next dairy farmer now. Let's spawn some cows. How many can we spawn? I guess a lot. This is way too many cows. I mean, 
If he can work on that, he can work on that, right? The next cheesemaker here is finished. Let's assign two cheesemakers to that. And boom, we are down on the unemployment rate again. This one here still needs a bit of time. This dairy farm by then we probably have someone else again. There's also still the iron deposit that is coming along. Perfect. So that we get a bit more iron in, leading to more iron ingots, leading to more common wares. Common wares is at 20. It's fine, but it could be better, I guess, overall. The iron smelters there. That's okay. -ish. The church, yeah, it's coming along. We already have weekly services here because the core building has been finished. Didn't that do anything with my quest? No, not yet. I think we need to con uh, finish the construction as a whole before we can really do anything there. There we have now also the entrance here. And, oh, there's new extensions that I haven't seen yet. This one we can then add as well. I'm definitely going to add it then here in the back. That just fits in so nicely. Perfect. I would love to have the stained glass there. If we have glass, we could do this. And the gargoyle is just perfect on it. And we really just need something in front of it. I don't have marble at the moment. It's not that easy, really. Adding some more ornaments. Guild of Weavers. Some of our weavers want to organize into a guild. This will allow them to travel to learn the ways of weavers in nearby lands and improve their skills. You have two months to send supplies to help the guild train new weavers. The more supplies you send, the more training they can undergo. Yields of cloth is increased overall by 10%. If we deliver them 100 bread, 100 cheese and a 50 beer. Ooh. Do we want that? Deliver 50 wine, 50 beer. 100 bread is a lot. And it's our most important resource for food. I don't know. For 10% increase where we already have enough cloth. Doesn't seem like a big or a good trade-off there for us. Hmm. This one's done at least. Let's spawn some cows for this dairy farm. And then let's take one of my builders. that can work in this dairy farm now. So two dairy farms coming up again, leading to more milk, and the cheese maker starting its work, so leading to more cheese. Please be enough for now. We really do need a lot of that. Right, that's fine. And now I'm just really waiting for the church that will be finished soon. The tower is already standing as well. It's all about the second core building now. Let's actually place a fountain in front of the church so that we have a nice little um, area around it. It only cost me 50 polished stone. We can afford that and some tools. The fountain here and then probably also a fence then around it and definitely some trees. So something that at least stands out then for the church. Could have more steep statu uh, sheep statues here. Nah, let's not do this. Let's have the fountain for now um, and then we'll just see perhaps an arch here as entrance. This might actually work. Now ah, we cannot uh, assign the height of this one. Let's build it for now. We can get rid of that again. Yeah, it's not looking that great. We can get rid of that again. The gargoyle is already there as well. Really cool. I like that a lot up here. And the last building is almost to completion now. Perfect, and the second iron mine is finished. We can assign now a miner to that. We already got some more villagers coming in. That's it. Oh god, there it is. Midwinter fast. A message has arrived from the bishop informing you that the traditional midwinter fast will begin in two weeks. Please finish the church before that happens, because otherwise we would have to wait through the whole of winter before we can finish that finally. Um, a bit more iron is coming in now. Uh, we have lots of brads. That's a good thing. Oh god. I will oh three more villages. Perfect. Um that I can assign to the mine. So that there's more iron coming out. By the way, I could just build my second quarry here. Over there. Let's start the construction of that. Four constructions, by the way. Oh yeah, the keep still. Oh! Very cool. The stone tower is already standing. And I probably can already assign someone to that. First of all, the dorm is already being fully occupied now with six people. We can also add treasury to this one. Very cool. And the prison. Yeah, let's make this one the treasury here. That's a 180 additional maximum coin that we can hold. And then we definitely would like to have another dorm since the first one is already full. And perhaps a prison. Why not? Let's also assign a prison here. We have guards running around. They need to imprison people. 
that's something. Uh, by the way, for the Midwinter Fast this year, I'm going to be a bit more smart about it. A bit smarter about it. So we're going to have the a trade route for fish as well. We have the money. I would like to purchase some fish until inventory is full at 100. Um, and berry-wise, we are already importing a lot of that as well. We have a lot of coin also saved up because I know we are going to lose coin during that fast. And your high standing with the clergy has inspired some of your villagers and they wish to build a majestic stained glass masterpiece to honor the occasion. If I only had glass, I could make it. We have quartz somewhere. Not here though. There it is, quartz. So that's in the next territory. Then we could already afford that. Perfect. That's the glass maker coming in. With that, lots of ornaments. And definitely also my rounded glass up there. To make a proper church. This is looking so bad. Let's get rid of that. And the church has been built. Yep, we have finished the quest. We got some more weekly attendance spots again for all the people. We can also ring the bell. There you go. Getting the people in there. And now we could just expand on that. Very, very good. So the first kind of like step of the church has been finished. It's not completed yet. Oh my goodness. It's going to take a long time before we finish that really. But what is coming in with that now is... Yep, we have all the clergy points that we need for upgrading now the monastery. And also build a workshop stained glass. And there we have the monastery. And with that, the herb garden, wine production and apiary. That's for the honey and the wine production with the grapes. Really good. I like that. We have now a full new monument. That's the monastery. And I already have a location for that, right? On the other hill. So basically, we are using now all the three hills then of this area. This is perfect. <laughs> I love that. So every hill has now another big monument then standing on it. As the village is growing. Just really, really nice looking overall. I love that. And what I don't love is the upcoming fast that should be happening any second now. And I hope we can survive it. Now we are really full on stone, um, but not that much polished stone since we consume that for all the constructions. I might need an, another stonemason hut. Uh, let's go ahead and build this one. Very dirty and unattractive building. Let's have this one over here then at the end of the, the green farms just with the cows, I guess. Is that a good location? Or, wait a second, we could also have it here being squeezed in. I think that's a bit better. It's not consuming that much space anyway. Um, having it here is perfect for me. And that should lead to more polished stone because after all, we still have work on the church. Now for territory, let's go ahead and purchase this one there now. And with that, we have the quartz now in our area. And let's actually start the construction of that right away. Even though, of course, we're probably not going to finish that after, a well, in winter with the storage then as well. And let's build this one. Actually not that expensive. So that's the quartz. It's just very far away really. Right, and that's it. There's also marble here. So we could already go ahead with the marble quarry. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, that's it. Midwinter fast has started. There's no, no construction now ongoing. I actually have this one. Oh, come on. How can we squeeze it in like this way? Right. Marble and quartz is coming in with that. New resources. But of course, not for now. And that's it. That's officially it. People will start... Oh, we'll stop with the working now. I've also finished another gathering hut. Let's go with the berries and let's assign three people to that. We have lots of unemployment right there right now. Um, iron deposit has been built. Own three villages once more. Holy cow. So there's four people now, but look at that. Production has been paused now. Right through the winter. Yeah, no more production anywhere. We have 2,500 coin and now we can basically just watch it plummet. Because I guess that's going to happen there. Promotions would be available. I'm not going to promote anyone for now. Um, I'm not doing these quests here that increase the cloth yield. Because they all need quite a lot of food and food is just too valuable right now. Um, that's the berries. And also these are working now. There's also no construction for now. So that's really it. The village is paused now for a full month. Um, which is really, really strange game design wise. I don't like this at all. But we will just have to endure. Let's just see how far we drop. 
and we see that in the next episode then. Stay tuned. <laughs>